An old favorite has returned. Welcome to the Reflex Site. Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and welcome to the Red Dot Site in Modern Warfare 3. Wait, I'm being corrected by the troll underneath my desk. Apparently, this is the Reflex Site in Black Ops 2. Let's just address the elephant in the room. We've seen this attachment before. The reflex site looks and functions almost identically to the red dot site in Modern Warfare 3. As a matter of fact, the whole legacy of the current reflex site is kind of confusing. Let me explain. The attachment started as the red dot site in Call of Duty 4. It returned and changed shape in Modern Warfare 2. And the red dot site returned yet again in Black Ops 1, but it didn't really look like the red dot site we were used to. So, moving into Modern Warfare 3, the red dot site came back again, but this time it looked like it used to back in Call of Duty 4. Nowadays, the red dot has basically made its way into Black Ops 2, but it's called the Reflex Site now, which looked like this in Black Ops 1. Yeah, did you get all that? Regardless, the Reflex Site is available on most guns in this game, including the Assault Rifles, SMGs, Shotguns, LMGs, the Crossbow, and even the pistols. As odd as it sounds, yes, even the pistols can get a reflex sight. The attachment is tiny and looks odd, but you can equip it if you like. On the assault rifles, SMGs, shotguns, the crossbow, and pistols, you unlock the reflex at weapon level 2. On the LMGs, you have to wait a little until level 5. Across the board, this attachment is easy to attain, so it's very common to see in the game. Here's the million dollar question though. When should you use the Reflex Sight? With the new Pick 10 system in Black Ops 2, you really need to justify why you're using a point on something like a sight. From a technical standpoint, the Reflex really doesn't do much. When equipped, this attachment simply changes out your default irons for a very clean basic sight with a red dot. Seriously, that's pretty much it. Hey, that, ah, uh, he's right. Here's the rule I would recommend following. When your primary of choice has really crappy irons, this attachment should be at the top of your list of things to pick. You can make a really good argument for the reflex on some of the assault rifles, a few SMGs, the KSG shotgun, and pretty much all of the LMGs. I would not advise picking a reflex on most of the shotguns, any of the pistols, or the crossbow. Overall, the reflex is nice to see again. Call of Duty has kept its basic sight and the attachment still has its all-purpose nature. With the new Pick 10 system, it really is going to be up to you, the user, to decide how valuable this attachment is. As for me, I will say I plan to experiment with all attachment options, but it is nice to have an old classic back. I've worked with better, but not many. Thank you. That concludes this review of the Reflex site in Black Ops 2. Join me next time where we'll be taking a look at the first available blooper, Lightweight. Until then, this is Raging Amish, checking out.